Okay, today we're going to talk about the difference between a simple and a compound leaf. Here we have a mint plant. And as you can see, we have the stem of the plant. And then if you look closely, you have the node. That's where it separates off. You have the auxiliary bud right here. And then you have your leaf. So this mint plant right here is a simple leaf plant. We have a tomato plant. As you can see with the tomato plant, we have the one main stem, then you have the node where it separates off, and then you have the auxiliary bud. And from that node, you have several leaves that come off of that node and the main stem. So therefore, a tomato plant has compound leaves. Swiss chard are also called rainbow chard. Um, as you can see, there's the one main stem, and then there's the leaf that comes off of that stem. It's one leaf. So Swiss chard or rainbow chard is a simple leaf plant. Here we have the basil plant. As you can see, we have the stem, and then the node, and then the leaf, the single leaf that comes from that node. So basil plant would be a simple leaf plant. As you can see, it looks like there are multiple leaves coming off the stem, but a way that you can definitely tell is by finding the auxiliary node. So if you look really closely, you can see the auxiliary node right there, and then the leaf. So because you see the auxiliary node right here, and then one single leaf, that's why basil is a simple leaf plant. Here we have kale. Kale has one main stem, and then the leaf. Therefore, kale is a simple leaf plant. Here we have the snap pea plant. Um, and we can see with the snap pea plant, you have these leaves here that may look like simple leaves, but the trick is to find the auxiliary bud. So when we find the auxiliary bud right here, this little itty bitty thing right there so you can see that there are two leaves that come off this auxiliary bud as well as another stem and leaf making snap pea plant a compound leaf plant we have a young pepper plant as you can see with the pepper plant we have the stem we have the node and then you have the single leaf that comes from that node. So making a pepper plant a simple leaf plant. This is dill. And if we see with dill, we have stem, and then we have the node, and then from that node, there are several leaves that come off of that node. So that makes dill a compound leaf plant. 